Greetings friends, Steven here, and welcome to my review of Goonie. Really? I'm gonna review... Okay, well the thing is, I actually got this game for free from uh, the good folks at uh, Circle Entertainment who had a uh, Twitter... They'll do one of those, like, retweet, win a chance to win them on our games. And I actually won uh, Goonie. This is G-O-O-N-Y. Uh, this is a game for Nintendo DSi, where, although of course I'm playing on my 3DS and I, of course, downloaded from the eShop. It is a $1.99 game. Is this game worth your $2? I hate to say it, but it is. I don't even know why I like this game. It doesn't make any sense. It's... Like, why is this... This has to be on a smartphone. This must have started off as a smartphone app, because it certainly doesn't really feel like it belongs on, like, a proper, like, video game system with buttons because you don't you don't need buttons but uh imagine if you will you remember Cubert, right that's sort of a isometric your little guy he swears he was in uh, Wreck-It Ralph he uh, you jump on all the little squares try to collect every space on the board and then when you have them all you go to the next level it's kind of like that here I'll just, I'm not going to edit anything in I'm just going to show that yeah that's an idea of what the uh, the game screen looks like and basically, you're, the, you're, I guess you're supposed to be Goonie. I don't even know if there's a store or anything. You're this green snot blob thing. It's kind of cylindrical. And um, it's also kind of like a slinky now that I think about it. So you take your green snot slinky and you don't have to step on every space. All you do is you're always falling down this grid. And I don't know, I just... It's a fun game. I find myself going back to it more than I would have ever expected. That's why I wanted to make this video. It's like, I, I can't explain it. I will try to explain it. That's why we're here. Uh, so like I said, you're moving this thing down. There's lava on either side of the area and the, the train itself will change. Sometimes it'll be smaller. It'll go zigzag and there'll be enemies. Not Once again, not unlike Hubert where they'll also be on the grid and if you touch them, you'll lose some health. And uh, there's coins. You can, as you're moving down, you collect coins. Uh, if you collect enough, sometimes they'll turn into this huge Indiana Jones bowler type thing. You'll just barrel down the level. And uh, yeah, of course, you'll try to avoid the enemies. Uh, there's no way to attack them, as far as I know, unless you're that boulder. And uh, there's coins. You collect the coins. There's a high score. I don't even think I've seen the title screen. It's just, it's just, it's. Why do I like this game? I don't know. It's, it, even, it even lets you download QR codes. Look at that. I haven't even found the place where you get the QR codes. Like, all it does is just replace the uh, the grid. Like, this this specific picture I'm looking at here shows what looks to be very much like a Minecraft uh, grass block. So if you wanted to play your, your slinky creature on Minecraft blocks, there you go. But, you know, it's just it's a fun, completely brainless, just play it because you're in the mood to play something and you only want to play something for two or three minutes. I can't remember there's music or sound. I'm sure there is. I'm sure it's adequate. You won't remember it. But you don't need to. It's goony. It's two bucks. And uh, it's better than it deserves to be. I, I, I just can't place my finger on it. It describes itself as being a one-button arcade game for casual and core gamers. Wow. Nice. Just covers the whole spectrum, I guess. Jelly-like creature, special blocks, randomly generated, infinitely long play field. Uh, you can draw your own blocks using the built-in block editor, exchange user-generated blocks locally or online via QR codes, which I doubt no one has ever done. Maybe in Japan, as I understand it, this, I think this was a Japanese indie game. It doesn't even mention anyone besides Circle Entertainment. So yeah, um, I don't want this review to even go on any longer. So, Goonie, it's better than you'd expect. So there you go. Thanks so much. So uh, thanks so much for watching. Um, if there's any other thoughts or opinions I have about the game, I will certainly add them in the description. And if you yourself have played Goonie and you liked it, you hated it, either way, let us know in the comments. And yeah, that's about all I can say. So thanks again for watching.